Hey guys, my name is Jason Collar. I'm the founder of the Kinetic Arm. Uh, so I work as a biomechanics consultant and muscle specialist, so kind of a problem solver for orthopedic surgeons, physical therapists, and strength coaches. There's a big demand, and we all know how high the injury rate is, and it's not going down. So we need something for the throwing arm. But this is for all positions, so it's also for several sports as well. But the internal components were strategically constructed, and I say anatomically engineered, to function how your body would. We know that um, the arm injury epidemic is a big problem, and it's not coming down. 60% um, is the amount of professional pitchers with minor injury to their UCL from youth baseball. So if we can get this on kids at a young age and make it an imperative piece of safety equipment, we can keep them in the game, so hopefully play at the next level, whether it be high school, college, or professionally. So when we first launched, we were at um, 2020 ABCA. We won best to show for most innovative product. The way the sleeve works, this is just very basic musculoskeletal mechanics. So uh, muscle strength is like a bell curve. So at mid-range, where the strongest end range, it drops off drastically. What the kinetic arm does is when we would be getting to our weakest point, so our least mechanically advantageous position and where we have the least amount of uh, muscular control, we now have more stored elastic energy as we go back into that range. That's how the sleeve helps offload stress, and we'll get to uh, some good objective data that we can show you. How do we know it offloads the elbow stress? So here, these are his baseline throws. So he's only wearing the modus sensor. He's not wearing the kinetic arm yet. So here we have his velocity, the top numbers, and down here we have the elbow stress that's measured in newton meters. Immediately after that, we had him put the sleeve on. So in all these, he's throwing 100% max effort. So if we look at without the sleeve, and with the sleeve, one of the common numbers here is 81 miles per hour. So here he's at 65 newton meters of force. He should be getting more fatigued and we should, should see that elbow stress going up, but we can see that elbow stress is actually decreased quite a bit. I figured let's take it off and see what happens. Right after he finished throwing with the sleeve, he takes it off, we can see the velocity goes up. So we have a neurological adaptation or we could call it post-activation potentiation, basically similar to the overspeed training concept. If you guys have any questions, I can send you the white paper. I can send you more data or would like me to go in depth on anything else. Um, just reach out. Thanks again for your time.